We talked last time about accountability and mm. about building a framework for accountability. Yes. Uh, you gave us some really helpful keys yeah. of how to negotiate our way through this, yeah. some of this uh, material. Yeah. But I know you want to talk a little bit more about how we embrace a sort of more holistic approach about mm. accountability. Mm. Yeah, it needs to become a lifestyle where we're accountable to ourselves, in a sense. And um, having outside accountability really helps. Uh, and I think one of the things, once you've got that established, is to then establish accountability in how you live life out. You know? Now, what we talked about, it, be, it being, you know, being accountable to a friend. Mm. Yeah, we're not talking about a sort of like, you know, the whole church knows what, no, exactly what's going on. Here. No, that's a very good point. Um, I think that it'd be really inappropriate uh, for you to just say everything every Sunday. But we just need someone to share with. Obviously, if you're married, you need to be sharing with your wife and working things through. But I think most wives would just be relieved to know their husbands were going to someone, a friend, who was holding them accountable. You know, believe it or not, guys, your wives don't want to be nagging you and asking you questions and, and questioning your motives all the time. They don't actually want to be doing that. But um, they do need the assurance, I think, that you're doing something about it. So just expand a bit more about this, this whole aspect of coming. Yeah, I've thought a lot about this and um, just the whole area of how to live with a kind of code of behaviour. I don't really mean a set of rules that if you break them somehow you sinned, but to have a way of operating that you, you generally keep to. You know, for me personally, for instance, I never take um, a girl's home, give them a lift home um, after youth group on my own. I always take one of my children with me uh, because it's inappropriate. And it means that I am operated a million miles away from something being wrong. Now, if I make a mistake, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll take a bunch of them home and then I dropped one off and I realise, oh, I've got one left. And I'm on my own, you know. Not the end of the world. I haven't sinned, but I'm aware that, oh, Mark, next time you need to think that through a bit better. Yeah? So I'm operating a long way away from anything being wrong, but it's like good practice. If I fail at it, I'm not, there's no condemnation. It's just like, you know, and I would go home to my wife and say, well, got that one wrong, you know, just so you know. I'll make sure that doesn't happen again. And, uh, uh, and so on. Uh, I think it's important to begin to develop a code of behaviour. Um, how you are at work, for instance. It's really good to develop a code of behaviour with your colleagues. You know, it may, you, are, you are actually spending a lot of time with them, aren't you? You are, and it can be quite uh, intense. You know, you may even be partnered, you know, working quite closely with someone. Uh, they, they may not even be that attractive to you, but because of the amount of shared experience, the intensity, you need to have a kind of quite highly developed code, you know, you know that, that protects you from, from uh, going in that direction. And, uh, you know, so for instance, you, you know, some kind of agreement that if, if it, in the workplace you're all going away from a, for a training course in a hotel or whatever, that you would uh, have an agreement that you're going to phone the person you're accountable to or your wife uh, just before you go to bed. That you're not going to go to bed late. Uh, that you're not going to um, um, uh, drink lots of uh, alcohol. And, and these kind of things, they, they all seem like oh, perfectly normal things to do in life and, and nothing wrong with them um, but uh, in of themselves. But what you're doing is you're developing a way of operating that sets you a million miles away from being drawn away into something that you shouldn't do.